Hello, race fans, and welcome back to the More Freedom Series. Today, we have traveled to the Indianapolis Motor Speedway for the Indianapolis 80. This is going to be race number 12 in the More Freedom Series Season 4. And with about a third of the season down, the points race is heating up. So let's go through your current top 10. Your points leader is the number 20 of Adam B5000. Second will be the 49 of Jetman. Third will be the 11 of TC Roberts. Fourth will be the 40 of Veteran Chaos. Tied for fifth will be the 799 of Mike Check and the 3 of Geek Girl Games. Seventh will be the 544 of Frederick Winklebaum. Eighth will be the 300 of Resemble. Ninth will be the double zero of Mudbone. And rounding out your top 10 will be the 95 of Zed Brenna. Let's take a look at those team and chassis standings. MBR still leads the way with Douche Motorsports second, Aces to Zed Motorsports third. Fourth will be the Drop Bear Racing Team, and rounding out the top five will be the Amish Buggy Racing. Chassis standings look like this. Dodge, Chevy, Toyota, and Ford. So that's a look at all your points here for this Indianapolis 80. Where we've, had a, we've got a great look at the Yard of Bricks here in Indy as they get these cars dialed in for the race here today. And as you can see, the crowd is already packing in here, so I think it's about time. So let's go racing. Let's go through your starting top 10 today for this Indianapolis 80. Starting on the pole will be the 25 of JTM. And on his outside, the 51 of AJM. Starting third will be the 96 of Nico. And on his outside, the 544 of Frederick Winklebaum. Starting fifth will be the 29 of Wishbone Attack. And on his outside, the 799 of Mike Check. Starting seventh will be the 666 of Pistol Pete. And on his outside, the 13 of King of the Aces. Starting 11th, or sorry, starting 9th will be the 11 of TC Roberts. And rounding out your top 10 will be the 300 of Resemble. So it is an all MBR front row here today with the 25 leading us down to take the green flag. His outside is his teammate, the 51 of AJM. Home track for that MBR crew as top three starters today for uh, this Indianapolis 80 are going to be those MBR drivers. And as you can see, not only are they the top three, but the 29 of Wishbone Attack starting there right behind his teammate, the 96 of Nico, as we come down the backstretch here, being led down this backstretch by that beautiful orange and black Dodge Challenger pace car. I think this is going to be an exciting race here today at Indianapolis. The sun is out. Just couldn't ask for any better conditions for the More Freedom Series here today. We're going to see what these drivers have in store for this famous this famous track here in the Indianapolis Motor Speedway. It is not very it's not banked very much in these turns, but you know, you you've got to respect these turns, you got to respect that short shoot. You just, you know, it it can be tricky, it can be just it can catch you off guard as they come off the sh out of the turn into that short shoot, but the 25 of JTM leading us down this very long front stretch here at Indianapolis. You can see this crowd is packed in here today. 300 plus thousand strong ready for the more freedom series as the green flag is out and we are underway. Down into turn one, JTM out with a lead. At right now, just jumping out to that lead right there in front of his teammate, the 51 of AJM. AJM getting already trying to get passed by his teammate and brother to the 96 of Nico. It's the 29 of Wishbone Attack. Filing in behind the 96 of Nico. Lined up down on the bottom. The bottom line is going to be the preferred line here at Indianapolis as the 96 now into second position. Here comes the 20 and 29 of, G of Wishbone Attack as the 11 of TC Roberts, current top 10 in points, trying to get in front of him. TC's going to get cut off right there by a the 29 of Wishbone Attack, so MBR 1, 2, 3 as of right now. Also a uh, note, the 666 of Pistol Pete, also Indiana boy, so he is trying to win it here on his home track as we now have a fight for the lead between the 96 of Nico and that 25 of JTM. JTM right in that high line, the 96 down to his inside, drag race down the back stretch, lined up underneath the 25 is the 96 of Nico. As they head into three and four, the 25 on the outside, he's going to lose several positions here as the 96 able to take over the lead, but 
I don't think that 29 is going to let him get away very much as we head down into th up turn four. So off of four, the 29 of Wishbone Attack right in there in second. As we see the 96 of Nico out to the lead right here, just a couple car lengths. Let's bring up your timing and scoring. As always, top 10 will be on the left. Favorite driver scrolling across the top as the 11 of TC Roberts takes over the second position, trying to play spoiler right now to the Indiana boys as they are filed and lined up right here as we have four of the top five drivers right now from the state of Indiana trying to make their mark here today at the Indianapolis Motor Speedway. Your leader on the track is the 96 of Nico as he is just a few car lengths in front of that 11 of TC Roberts. This is not a track that would be known for the draft and just like every other track that you're driving over 70 miles an hour on, you're going to get a draft here. As you can see, that 11 of TC Roberts just making his way to the back bumper of the 96 of Nico. Nico running a little bit higher line right there through turn one as we see him ju jump into turn two. So TC working down to the inside. We're going to see if the 25 of JTM pulls out here as they head down the back stretch. JTM is going to swing out, to, swing down to the inside. He's going to follow the 11 of TC Roberts. Trying to push TC out to the lead right now is that 25 at JTM. No team orders in the MBR stables, as you can see, the 25. Getting down to the inside of the 11 at TC Roberts. I'm anticipating pit stops on or about lap, probably lap 10 to 15, I would guess. As we see, the 11 at TC Roberts takes over the lead right there from the 96 of Nico. So Nico is going to get a lap led here today so he's going to get those five all important five bonus points as we see that 544 Frederick Winklevom right there behind the 666 as well as the 203 of signs so signs started way back well actually not way back but he started in 13th here today and he has worked himself up to the sixth place right now as well as the points leader the 20 of Adam B5000 who started 15th so Adam oh as we see the 203 assigns us some uh, contention right now from the 660 of Garrett Miller. Again, another Indiana boy right there, that 660 of Garrett Miller. I think, I want to say he may have won this race a couple years ago. Maybe won it last season, I can't remember, but he is working his way up to the front as we have a three-wide battle, almost have a three-wide battle there for the fourth position as we see the 666 and the 96 drafting right here down the back stretch behind your leader, the 11 of TC Roberts. So TC put that bird's eye Toyota for Aces to Z Motorsports out on the points as he came up from the ninth starting position here today. So TC putting on a show for Aces to Z. He's trying to play spoiler to all these Indiana drivers in the field and pull out that win as we see double file back here with the 203 of signs getting pushed along by the 29 of Wishbone Attack, and here comes the 799 of Mike Check, second place in points. He's had a great few races here as of late. I don't know, like the last four or five, I believe. I believe Mike Check had that win, and he's just been on a roll. Uh, last race wasn't his best, as I'm pretty sure that I heard that he was firing a lot of his pit crew, expired tickets or expired coupons to the Thirsty Camel bottle shops. I mean, he just let everybody go, you know. So we're going to see what the new crew for the Drop Bear Racing Team on that 799 of my check, what they have for pit stops here today. As we see the 49 of Jetman again, Indiana boy, the 49 and the 51, working themselves into the top 15 right now. The 49 of Jetman. Having started in the 12th position, he fell back at the start. Looks like he's back up to the 10th position right now. The 51 of AJM, he started second and had fell back quite a ways, but he is working himself up to the front. Let's check in on the front here as we see that night. Oh, I missed it. The 96 of Nico gets that pass on your leader, the, the 11 of TC Roberts. As TC now has a bunch of drivers lined up underneath him, the 666, the 25, the 544, and probably that 203 of Signs. So Signs 
who has had just a rough go this season, uh, trying to put a few races together in a row here to push his way up into the top 15. And points currently residing in the 19th position as we see your leader on the track. In the 96 of Nico, familiar place for this 96 having won four races in his career here in the More Freedom Series. Unfortunately, no wins last season. Now, a win last season probably would have catapulted him to the championship, but lots of seconds last season, ended up finishing third. He's out to the lead as of right now here at Indianapolis as we work lap number 10. Very fast action here today at the Indianapolis Motor Speedway. Your fastest lap right now is going to be by the 799 of Mike Check at 202.680 miles per hour or 44.405 seconds as we watch the 96 still be your leader, but that 544, oh, we see with looks like we've got some pit stops. Watching the 25 jump into the pits right there in front of that. 96 as the 40 of Vetro. Oh, who's going to take over the lead here? Looks like the 20 of Adam B5000 will take over the lead. Basically, the rest of the field into the pits right now. We're going to watch a 25, the pole sitter, as he brings it down pit road here. So it looks like it's going to be a two or three pit stop race for these drivers. I'm anticipating probably a three pit stop race. Maybe. We'll figure it out. The 25 is working himself into the pits. He has right side tires going on that Sonic Dodge for MBR. Looks like it's going to be a four tire stop for everyone. Left side tires going on the 25. The 96 got his left sides on. 25 is down. Fuel going in. He's away. He's going to beat out the 96. 96 power in that car out to the lead in front of the 25 at JTM. So your points leader, the 20 of Adam B5000, is going to get those five bonus points for leading a lap. Again, all important bonus points here in the More Freedom Series as the 96 of Nico is down and away. And it looks like the 544 is going to come out in third. We're going to wait to see what the 20 of Adam B5000 does. Let's see. The 40 is the right left side tires going on that 20 of Adam B5000. We can hear those cars closing in right now. They're heading on. They're on the front stretch. They're almost to the flag stand. You can see the 96 of Nico leading the way. The 20 of Adam B5000 getting that car going. He's got the hammer down as fast as he can right now as they work through the short shoot. He's not going to be able to beat out that 96 of Nico, but. The 25 at JTM right there to the back bumper as it is a heck of a race here today between the 25, the 96, and now the 544 of Frederick Winklevom. So Winklevom, who is currently running top 10 in points this season for RP Racing with a win, mind you, with a win. Uh, he is battling right now with the Wiley veterans, the 25 and the 96, battling it out here at Indianapolis for this win. I believe we're going to see that 25 take over the lead. We do see that as now the 96 down to the inside as a 203 assigns, makes it three wide off the off of a turn two. Nico's got the hammer down right now, the 203 down to his inside. So Sines tried to take that position away. I think he's going to take away second position here from the 96 of Nico. So an amazing ballsy move by the 203 of Sines to make it three wide off of turn two. Down the back stretch, he's going to take over the second position. Nico looks like he might fall to the third position here, or fourth, behind the 544 as we see the 660, the 11, and the 51. Beautiful look at that orange and black Dodge Challenger base car. As we see the uh, 544 take that position away from the 96 of Nico, so Signs is now trying to be the spoiler here today for the Indiana party between all these Indiana drivers as he has worked himself up into the second position behind the 25 at JTM. Ooh, almost a touch between the 25 and the 203. Last second, just 
pull that car to the right by the 25, slows him down a little bit. The Sides is going to take over the lead here on lap number 14 with about 18 laps to go. The 203 of Sides from Texas takes over the lead. He is got that car for Douche Motorsports just hammered down right now. And we're going to see what he can do now that he's out in front as we watch that 544 Frederick Winklevom take over to second position, but not to be outdone. Here comes that 660 of Garrett Miller. He's working down to the inside of the 25 of JTM. So a hot, heavy, crazy action up here at the front of this field as we now see the 660 of Garrett Miller. He's into the the third, fourth position as the 25 falls back to the fifth and the 11 back behind him. There's the 51 of AJM. As we see that 40 of Veteran Chaos who, where did Vet start at here today? Vet started in the 24th position. Now running top 10 right now in the eighth position right there in front of the 95 of Zed Brunna. Zed currently Top 10 in points as of right now in the season. Right behind Zed is going to be the points leader. The 20 of Adam B5000. And wouldn't you know it, there is the 999 of Deviant. Last week's amazing winner, the in and out burger for, oh, he is about to make it three wide with a 49 and the 20. Almost three wide right there with a 999, the 49, and the 20. So... Deviant thinks a little bit better of it, pulls back in behind the 20 and the 49 as we're working uh, lap number 17 here. Actually, probably lap 18. Again, Deviant started four races down and came into the season on race number five with the Drop Bear Racing Team. He has worked himself up to 31st in points and currently looking for more. Let's check in on your leaders as we see the 544 of Frederick Winklevom has now caught up to the back bumper with that 203 of signs. So Frederick is trying to get Win number two this season. He's trying to just deny the rookie the 203 assigns his first win. Again, we're still going to have pit stops here today. I think this is probably going to be a two pit stop race. I would I would guess it's going to be a two pit stop race. But I just want to highlight the fact that the two or the double zero of Mudbone has now ran a 203.027 mile per hour lap. And I mean, if we're talking 203s, that might be a good sign for your leader right now, the 203 of signs, or it could be a bad sign. I don't know. I think it's a good sign. We're going to see what that, <laughs> if that helps him out. You know, as this race goes on here, we got about 13 laps to go. And we'll make sure that we give those halfway points to the driver that earned them here today because I wasn't paying attention. We'll have to review that. I'm all excited here in this broadcast booth, and so is Rocco the Golden Doodle. He is here with me in the broadcast booth, and he is fired up for this race. As we again, your later is at 203 of signs. And we'll check back through this field, see what is going on as we see the double zero of Mudbone has now worked himself underneath that 49 of Jetman, so Mudbone who started in the 22nd position has now put his car into the top 10. Now into the seventh position right here in front of the 40 of Veteran Chaos. So they are about five seconds behind the lead, but I mean, Mudbone is working his way up through the field here. So lots of passing here today. Oh, as we do see pit stops are happening. We did see some Somebody duck into the pits as the 51 of AJM is coming out. Looks like the 29 of Wishbone Attack. I don't know if he uh, was involved in an incident. It does look like he might have a little bit of left side damage. 
as we do see a bunch of folks into the pits. We're going to follow your leader. The 203 of Signs as the 660 of Garrett Miller now working to the inside of the 544 of Frederick Winkelbaum. So Garrett taking away the third, second position as we do see everybody ducking in here. So Signs is going to be leading us in. This is the final, hope oh, possibly the final stop for everybody as we see the 20 of Adam B5000. Looks like he's going to take over the lead. So signs leading us down pit road here in front of the 544, the 660, the 25, the 11, and the 96. So we're going to see what he throws on his car. Could be two, could be four. We're we'll watch it here. So right side tires going on that 203. Looks like it's going to be a four tire stop for the 203 of signs and douche motorsports. Left side tires on, fuel going in to try to get him all the way to the end of this race. Signs is down and away. We'll see if he gets out in front of everybody. The 544 is going to beat him out. 25 is down and away. The 96 is down and away. So with an amazing pit stop here today, the 544 of Frederick Winkelvom may take over your lead. We're going to watch to see what... The 20 of Adam B5000 does. So Frederick comes into the pits in second position, comes out with the lead here today. And this might be, I mean, Frederick is, the rumor mill says that Frederick has just, he is not, his normal his normal job is you know Blaine County Sheriff, but from the rumor mill, I think uh, Frederick has hung up the hat, as it were, for the Blaine County Sheriff, and has now just started concentrating full time on being a race car driver, which, by the looks of it, has really benefited him. As we watch the 660 of Garrett Miller, so let's go through your current top ten. Your leader is at 544, Frederick Winklevom. Second's going to be the 203 of Signs, who is now might go back to third. But so second's going to be the 660 of Garrett Miller. Third will be the 203 of Signs. Fourth will be the 11 of TC Roberts. Fifth will be the 96 of Nico. Sixth will be the 25 of JTM. Seventh will be the double zero of Mudbone, another Indiana boy right there. Eighth will be the 51 of AJM. Ninth will be the 40 of Veteran Chaos. And rounding out your top 10 will be the 999 of Deviant. So we're going to see where your points leader fell back to as it looks like the 666 of Pistol Pete about ready to go around him. So Deviant looking for another top 10 again here today as we do see, sorry about jumping around a bunch there, the double zero of Mudbone able to get around the 25 of JTM. He's going to pull the, the 51 of AJM with him. As we see the 660 and the 203 of Signs trying to make their way to the back bumper of your leader, the 544 of Frederick Winklevom. Winkle doing everything he can right now to keep that car in a line, just driving his race, doing his line. He's, he's not doing lines, but you know what I mean. He is trying to get that car out there in front of both of these drivers as, listen, uh, battling between the 660 and the 203 is definitely going to help the 544 here today. So the 660 of Garrett Miller runs second here as we see the 51 and the 25 and the 96 lining up underneath that double zero of Mudbone. So the 51 of AJM who currently runs 11th in points has worked himself into the top 10. Well, back into the top 10 because you remember he started in the second position, but I'm not sure. I think Frederick's got a good setup here in the second half of this race and definitely at this point has the car to beat. We're going to see how many of these drivers can go all the way to the end because they pitted with just over, like I don't think, 11 laps to go. AJM is going to be the shaky one here as he definitely pitted a lap before everybody else. 
So we're going to see if that MBR, the Zen MBR car Dodge uh, can actually make it to the end of this race as he is right to the back bumper of the 11 of TC Roberts. Maybe he's fuel saving right now as he probably needs to save at least a couple laps with about five to go here. As just right in behind the 11 of TC Roberts, that would help him save that fuel. So we'll check in on him again as we do see the 203 of Signs has now got around that 660 of Garrett Miller. So Garrett trying to get that position back from the 203 of Signs. And just listen, that battle in, that double wide battle right there between second for second place is definitely going to help the 544 of Frederick Winklevom pull out and possibly, possibly win this race. That's actually going to put them back about four tenths of a second behind the 544. As we now see the 25 and the 96 lined up underneath that double zero of Mudbone. As the 11 of TC Roberts has fallen back to uh, looks like about the uh, ninth position. I think we got a surprise member in the top 10 right now. That 23 of Fuller than you. So Fuller, who is trying to not wreck people this season, has worked himself into, I believe, the 10th position right there in front of his car owner, the 95 of Zed Brenna. So three MBR cars lined up right there as we now have the 203 and the 660 have caught up to the back bumper of the 544 of Frederick Winklevom as we see them catching up to the 29, a wishbone attack. So you can see that left side damage on the 29. With just a handful of laps to go, your leader on the track is that 544 of Frederick Winklevom. We're going to see what he does right here with the 29, a wishbone attack. Looks like they're all going to jump down to the inside. Wishbone staying up high. Not sure what signs is sinking here. Down to the inside, they all three go. So wishbone attack lets them go again. Left side damage on the 29 right there as that opens the door for the 203 of Signs. So Signs down to the inside. He's going to get some help by the 660 of Garrett Miller. So Garrett pushing the two, almost, almost literally pushing the 203 of Signs down into turn three and four. Signs down to the bottom. He's going to get the lead from the 544 of Frederick Winklevom. We're going to see the, five, the 660, what he's got here with just a couple laps to go. Down the front stretch they go. As we watch the 203 of Signs with two laps to go take over the lead, and we do see... The 51 of AJM did duck into the pit, so I think we're going to have some close racing here at the end of this race. As again, the 51 ducked in, and we're coming down into three and four as we watch that 660 of Garrett Miller battling right to the back bumper of the 203 of Signs into the short shoot into four. We got one lap to go here at. Indianapolis, your leader is the 203 of Signs. Second's going to be that 660 of Garrett Miller. Garrett pulling out to the bottom. He's down to the inside. He's trying to last lap win here. Signs falling back to third. We're going to see if the 544 is going to make a last lap pass here on the 660 of Garrett Miller. Drag race down the back stretch. The 660 of Garrett Miller out to a little bit of a lead. Into three and four. Final, final time into the short shoot. The 660 of Garrett Miller out to a little bit of a lead on the 544 of Frederick Winklebaum. Off of four. Drag race down the front stretch. The 544, the 203, the 660. It's going to be close at the line. It's going to be the 544 of Frederick Winklevom is going to win by mere inches over the 660 of Garrett Miller. I don't believe it, folks. I don't believe it. Speechless. I am speechless. 
by point zero two two, the five four four of Frederick Winklevom wins today's race here at Indianapolis. Let's go through your finishing top ten. Again, your winner today is in unbelievable fashion. The 544 of Frederick Winklevom. Second place is going to be the 203 or the 660 of Garrett Miller. Third will be the 203 of Signs. Fourth will be the 25 of JTM. Fifth will be the 40 of Veteran Chaos. Sixth will be the 11 of TC Roberts. Seventh will be the double zero of Mudbone. Eighth will be the 96 of Nico. Ninth will be the 34 of Super Snake. And rounding out your top 10 will be the 666 of Pistol Pete. Wow. If it can't get any better than that, next week we head to Kentucky for the Kentucky 80. So I am, I don't even know what to say, wild race here at Indianapolis. Let's check in on your point standings as it could have been a shakeup. It couldn't have been. I don't know. You're seeing your points right here on the screen as it looks like the 20 of Adam B5000 is going to head, finish ahead of the 49, but the 799 of Mike Check finishes ahead of him. So you're seeing all your points right here on the screen. You're going to see who's leading the way. Let's also check in on your team and chassis standings as a great day for Amish Buggy Racing and MBR. I am just unbelievable, unbelievable finish. I thought Garrett had it right there at the end, and that drive by the uh, – 544 Frederick Winklevom just insanely in, insane drive. So another win by that 544 Frederick Winklevom in an amazing fashion here today at Indianapolis. So congratulations to him. He's your winner. And I know that him and Harvey are going to be partying it up tonight at the RP racing studio or <laughs> Staples. And until next week at Kentucky, take care.